Hello and welcome back everyone to the Hollister McIntyre Flyers franchise. We are here in the second to last game of the season taking on the Atlanta Falcons. And what a season it's been. As we go ahead and wrap the season up, this game could officially clinch the number one seed depending on if the Rams lose. Should the Rams lose and we win today, we will be number one, which is a first obviously for this series. Um, it's not something I expected to happen after last season. I did think we were a playoff team going into this year, but I just didn't see this team taking the steps it has. I think we've gotten lucky in a lot of our games, so I don't think it's something that we can rely on to carry us through the playoffs. We'll still have to show improvement, but let's go ahead and get started here in Atlanta as Rick Rubin is set to take us off, and away we go here in Atlanta. Kick is just going to bounce to the back of the end zone, and out comes Jalen Hurts, who was once a uh, starter in our, in our series here, or... He started, he backed up, he played uh, He played games, and we, we moved on from him, and he's not had the best career in Atlanta, but he has been decent. First and ten now, Jalen's going to throw this one out, and that is caught to the outside. And the uh, Falcons here, that is Stratton, they have a pretty talented uh, roster, as we see we have inactives. And this is Tony Pollard, who never got the extension from Dallas. Of course, they stuck with Ezekiel Elliott, who's also in a contract year and has not received an extension yet. So it'll be interesting to see if Dallas loses both Pollard and Elliott by the end of uh, this season. Now, Jalen running for a first down, and that is, of course, one thing that he's one of the best in the league at doing. Not exactly the fastest runner. Of course, that probably goes to Lamar Jackson. But Jalen is just strong. He's a strong runner. And here, Kate... Cameron Hayward gets a sack. Uh, he has been a really, really good signing for this team. I think probably one of the most impactful late season additions I've ever seen. And out comes Kylan Ann, who has 31 touchdowns, 25 interceptions. He is chasing Jameis's 30 for 30 this year. And uh, you know what? I think Jameis Winston is the quarterback who I'd most compare Kylan Ann to. Nice run here by Lance Roach for 14 yards, who has been a very effective runner this season. Now Lance taking this one for about 12 yards on the run. And Lance going down with an injury there. Hopefully not too serious. Francois and Declan check in as the backs. And it is a screen pass to Declan who uses speed to get outside. Whereas Jacoby Declan someone we've seen play a lot. Not too much I guess this season. But the rookie has played some, some third down snaps in relief of Lance Roach. I think I'd like to see him get more snaps at wide receiver. Now we're going to throw it out to him in the flats. He's wide open. And that is a 15-yard catch there. Third and five. Handoff. Declan. And that's not necessarily his game. Three yards on the run between the tackles there. And it is fourth and two, and we're going to go for it. Handoff. Francois. First down. Three yards and a first. Really uh, showing the differences between these running backs as Lance Roach checks back in. And we're going to find Theo Clements, who has had the spectacular rookie season. Clements has just been phenomenal. Leads the tight ends in receiving this year and almost tops in wide receiver receiving as well. He's just been one of the best in the league. Now, Sean Stevens who has been a pretty good acquisition. So, first and 10. Looks like they've got a tight set here. And a fumble forced by Chance Fortunata. He picks his own fumble up. Fortunata dropped back into coverage. And if there's ever been an argument for him playing linebacker, in a 3-4 that was it drops back into coverage forces a fumble picks it up that's your best player on defense right there third and one now handoff roach gets the first down just barely getting rolled for a first down so the falcons not really showing anything too spectacular yet flyers this is going to be a throw out to theo and not really getting a whole lot there Third and one, and they're going to spot that short by about a yard and a half, so we'll go for it. Fourth and two, and it's a keeper for Kai Linehan. I'm not even sure that was the design play, but he gets seven yards out of it. Of course, that is his most valuable asset as a quarterback so far. Now, finding Dylan Murdoch in the end zone, and that is a touchdown. Murdoch having a bit of a sophomore slump, I would say, but still pretty solid so far. So second down and 10. Falcons back on offense here. Nice quick throw out here. Calvin Ridley with the catch down to the 32. And the uh, Falcons, of course, have Mike Evans and Calvin Ridley as they'll be stopped for a uh, 
fourth and three here. So they have a really good receiving core. It's just maybe not the best quarterback throwing to them. Declan fields this one and will be stopped after about four yards. And that will be the end of the first quarter as the Falcons have kept it within 10, but the Flyers seem to be dominating this game so far. Falcons, nothing. We are here in the second quarter. Kai to play action. He'll drop back and take off with this one. And he's just going to hold on to it. We'll get about four yards or so. It's going to be second down and four. Kai dropping back. Going to throw this one underneath to Theo Clements, who's got a first down and then some. And Theo is down on the ground. I think he's clutching at his leg. I'm not really sure. Hoping the best for him. It's a screen pass out. Lance Roach in the open field, making a man miss. It was A.J. Terrell. And Lance Roach has just been so good in the open field this year. Really showing why he can be a premier back on this team. And now a bit of an underthrow there in the seam. Broken up for Ernie Stachelski and Salt Lake will punt. So back on offense, Tony Pollard and picks up four yards. Really hasn't gotten anything going yet so far. It's been more of QB runs that have really diced our uh, team up. But now the draw on second and six and the Flyers never saw that coming. The, the middle was just wide open. Now, uh, first and 10 at the 40. Pitch out for Pollard. Yeah, he's got nowhere to go there. Mitch Newman and Chan Torchinata combining for the TFL. And uh, Pollard's good if you can get him out in space, but not so good at running through contact, especially a guy like Chan Torchinata. Now a throw underneath to Stratton, or on the outside, rather, and Stratton with the first down, a big-time out route. And the Falcons are actually moving the ball this drive. Again, thrown to Stratton underneath this time. Mitch Newman with the tackle. His first and 10 is Jalen's 8 for 10 on the day. Just hasn't really gotten any big gains. Throwing another underneath ball here. Now second down and four. Six minutes remaining in the half. This one thrown to Pollard. Pollard's going to walk it in. And he's got that acceleration that if he catches it with a step, it's going to be hard to catch him in short field advantage or uh, situations. So third down and five now. Salt Lake City forced face with the three and out situation. Throwing this one deep and it's caught. Dante evades the tackle and he is gone. One on one coverage. You can't do that with Dante Pettis. One on one deep. He wins the route and then he breaks the tackle. Breaks another tackle or would be tackle. And we score. And almost intercepted there by Chris Harris. Or uh, Eddie Jackson, rather. First and 10 is Stratton has been tearing us up. A dangerous pass that Eddie Jackson should have had. Now Pollard breaking a tackle, spinning around. I'm not sure what that was, but he's down to the 49-yard line. As the Falcons may be finding their stride a little bit here. Now a handoff to Pollard. Pollard is just taking over this game. Tony Pollard down to the 32-yard line. He's over the half-century mark on the day. Now first and 10 with three minutes remaining in the half. Throwing this one out. That is caught. First down. Falcons keeping the chains moving, and Jalen Hurts a very efficient day so far. First and 10, handoff. Pollard, and he's got room in front of him. My goodness, this run defense has at times been worrying this season. You, you kind of thought a few times we shorted up, but... We keep getting reminded that it's just not. Mike Evans now his first catch down to the three yard line and not good when the Falcons have been able to move the ball without throwing it his way. Second and goal now. Pollard brought down for a loss. Cameron Hayward. A fantastic free agent signing and he may have just saved us a touchdown here. Third and goal at the one. Hand off Pollard untouched. A nice run there and the Falcons have made it a three point game. So 40 seconds left, Flyers a chance to make something happen here. Falcons were thinking about blitzing and they don't. Dylan Murdoch hangs on despite a big hit there. Now first and 10 at the 40, you can at least maybe get in field goal range here. Linehan throwing this one out. Pettis catches it as he's brought down. And the uh, dagger concept has worked very well for us this year as we are going to kick the long field goal. It is up 
and it is good so the flyers will take a six point lead into halftime i think overall the offense looked very efficient this game really the defense just the run defense was not there and i think if we can step that up in the second half and make some adjustments to our base alignment we should be good so let's go ahead and jump around the league here the cowboys fighting for big playoff positioning and currently the packers might be on upset alert or the cowboys might be on upset alert to the packers jordan love having a nice game packers are already out of the playoff contention but this could really hurt the cowboys the giants may have a chance to take the nfc east the steelers and the Bengals. steelers trying to get into the playoffs they are still alive but a loss here might just end those chances Bengals looking to pick up a big division win and end things here and now and the bears fighting with the washington football team who is also still fighting for the nfc east might be able to get in bears need this win to clinch a top six seed in the playoffs and off lance roach as we start second half and that's a decent run third and five the falcons have a chance to force a three and out as the flyers really need to keep the drive going and that's going to be swatted down three and out and a punt so a handoff to Tony Pollard now. Pollard. Nine yard run as he has just been unstoppable. Third and two. It's a pitch out to Pollard. Why not go to him? And he's got a first down. Pollard not necessarily a threat in the passing game. Um, he's not really a pass catching back necessarily. More of just your one cut. Get him on the outside. And that is where Pollard does not excel. If a big lineman gets on him. He's going to bring him down. Cameron Hayward having a fantastic game. What a good signing. Second and 14 now. Screen pass out to Pollard. In open space and he'll pick up a lot of yardage there. As this will be third down and four. Tight set for the Falcons. Hurts throwing this one out to Stratton and he's got it down to the 35. And he has been very effective today coming in these three and four wide sets. Second down and eight. Hurts dropping back. Pollard was just talking about him not being a pass catching back, but there he is catching a nice 15 yard catch. And he's got over 50 yards receiving, so maybe I should uh, eat crow here. Stratton now down to the 10 yard line. Hurts 17 for 19. He is darn near perfect on the day. Hurts dropping back, throwing this one up. One on one. And Mike Evans beats. Stephon Gilmore, touchdown, as we knew he wouldn't stay quiet for long. Flyers back on offense, and a nice throw here under pressure from Kyle Linehan. Really, really close under duress. And we'll take that one down to the 43-yard line. First and 10. Laying the hand, rolls right into an edge rusher. And that is Olakun, and that's a big loss. Play action has been a big part of this Flyers offense this year, but right there he gets us in trouble as Francois takes the screen for oh, about 10 yards. It'll be third down and eight. So third and eight from the 46 as the Flyers need momentum and Dante thankfully catching the slant route. And that'll be about seven or eight yards there for a first and 10. Third and six once again, another third down situation. Thrown underneath there. And Derek Fitzpatrick catches this one down to the 21. And Steel Clements is still not returned to the game. You have to wonder if something more serious has happened to him. Second and 10. Kai going to roll out here. Kai throwing him back across his body. And Sachelski has this one for a first down. He's down to the 10 yard line. Is Kai Linehan has eclipsed 250 yards on the day. Kai, handoff, Lance, and about a four yard run there. Another carry. Second down and goal, handoff, Lance into the end zone. So we run it back to back, and Lance Roach picks up his 10th touchdown of the year on the ground. We'll go for two to make this a seven point game. Lenahan runs out of time and he's sacked. Malik Davidson with the sack. Flyers are only up five points now, so the Falcons have a chance to take the lead here. And a nice play there. Tony Pollard still having a very fantastic game. It's third down and four. Jalen, he's going to take off and run with this one. He's got plenty of room. You kind of have to have someone spying him because he can just take off and run with it. Thankfully, hasn't really beaten us up too bad on the ground in scrambles, but that will take us into the fourth quarter as this game has been a lot closer than I expected. 
Flyers might not be able to lock up the conference in this game. And we check in the fourth quarter. It all comes to a head here. Third and six. Hertz throws this one. It's caught. Stratton with the first down there. A flag is down. Let's see what this is. And they're going to get the Falcons for holding. So it goes back to third and eight now. A chance for the Flyers to have a do over here. Hertz finds Calvin Ridley, and that's a first down. So the do over ends up hurting us, if anything. Calvin Ridley now with a really big gain there. But two consecutive holding penalties, and it's second down and 30 as this one gets batted down on the line by Mitch Newman. Third down and 30, and Flyers in a soft zone here. This is going to be a throw to Pollard underneath, but that goes nowhere, and the Falcons will punt. So Flyers have a chance to take a big lead here. Lance with the stretch play, picks up about nine yards, and he just doesn't have the speed, the top end speed, to really break those open. Lance now a nice run in between the tackles, something that he's been very impressive at this year is absorbing contact and running into it. Second down and 10. This one underneath and Sean Stevens still behind him, gets broken up. So third and 10, Linehan hit as he throws, Fitzpatrick might have been open and unfortunately we have to punt away. Falcons still have a chance to win this thing and a seam pass for Stratton at the midfield mark is what they needed. He's up to 75 yards receiving on the day, and the Falcons already inside the 50. Now Mike Evans down to the 35, and the Falcons are threatening the score and take the lead here. Now Hurts will take off and run with this one. He's got a first down and then some, about 16 yards on that. And the Falcons are inside the red zone, as this drive has been killer for the Flyers' defense. A draw play here to Tony Pollard, and I just don't know about that one. So third down and five. Falcons in the gun. You have to watch out for read option, and instead it's just a handoff to Pollard, and he's got a first down down to the six-yard line. Nine yards away from breaking the century mark. He has been fantastic. Absolutely great today. I formation, handoff, Pollard brought down for no gain, if anything, maybe even a loss, as it's now third and goal. The Falcons back in the gun. This is what they should have stayed in to start with. And this one, a touchdown, Calvin Ridley. Uncontested. I don't know where the defense was there. So they are going to go for two now to make this a field goal game. Hurts wide open is Stratton in the end zone. And it's a three-point game under four minutes. The Flyers on upset alert here. Hand off Lance Roach. We're okay running it because, frankly... If you can get in range, you can get in range. And with a run like that, now you can start to consider not having to air it out every single time. But we're going to air it out here. That gets broken up for Ernie Stachowski. Second down and 10. It's a screen pass. And Lance caught it well behind the line of scrimmage. Brought down for a loss. Eight yards. And this is not good. One more play before the two minute. We just barely get it off. Finding Dylan Murdoch, and Murdoch's got some room in front of him. First down and then some. Not the fastest, but he'll get us down to the 41. A run here. And we're nearly in field goal range, so you definitely can look to play for overtime. But of course, you want to go for the win. Third and five. Thrown out. Caught by Murdoch, and he's got some room in front of him. Down to the 19, and now suddenly we can start taking our time and playing for overtime at worst confidently. First and 10 inside 40 seconds. This one thrown out to Ernie Stachelski down to the 12-yard line. And now it's time for a timeout. You got two timeouts and 35 seconds to play with here from the 12-yard line. Linehan, he's going to roll out, try to make a play on his legs. He'll just pick up the first down. Rocked out of bounds, though. Maybe a late hit, but no call. Second down and goal from the six. It's a handoff. Lance Roach into the end zone. Flyers take the lead with 20 seconds remaining, and the Falcons are in trouble now. So Jalen Hurts back on offense, and he throws this one out, but that's inbound, so they'll have to burn a timeout. It is a four-point game, so you need a touchdown here. No field goal. Hurts throwing this one up. It's caught. Evans broken up. Eddie Jackson with the nice play there. Third down and three with 13 seconds left. Might be able to get in range for a... Hill Marion that's almost intercepted. That could have been game. 
Fourth and three. Hurts gets this one off at least. And Evans. They're going to say he only got one foot in bounds. And the game is over. Flyers go on the road and win. And I have some good news for y'all. They clinched the conference. Rams will not be your number one seed. The Flyers will be the number one seed going into the NFC in the playoffs. And they will get a first round bye in home field all the way to the Super Bowl. Well, of course they have to get there. But if they win two games in the NFC at home, they will be. The Falcons gave us one of the toughest challenges of the season. And I have some bad news. Theo Clements, 22 yards away from 1,000 yards in his first NFL season. He's out for the rest of the year. Foot fracture, out six weeks. He would not even make it back for the Super Bowl. Would we, were it to we make it? That didn't make sense. Would we to make the Super Bowl? That also grammatically didn't make sense. I'm so torn up over him. It really sucks. A big loss. Thankfully, Ernie Stachowski and Derek Fitzpatrick, very good tight ends. And we will even look to bring in someone. Eric Holloway and Kenny Durkins. We're going to get run stopping. You saw how weak it was still. I think we need to continue to focus on bulking it up. Chance Fortunata is going to get a run stopping upgrade. And guess what that means? He hits 90. And he's on his way to getting another ability slot at 95. Elijah Davis, we've been leveling him up as a linebacker because ultimately I want him to be that role and it's just not working out. I might have to start leveling him as a safety because he's really not getting the development of a linebacker that I want from him. Well, the Bears pulled it off and that means the Cowboys and the Giants will both be making the playoffs assuming the Cowboys won their final game of the season. The Raiders continue to win and they are almost locked up for the two seed. Giants beat the Chiefs, which means they have a chance to win the NFC East next week against the Cowboys. Winner takes the East, loser is just in the playoffs. The Flyers have clinched, and this is just a fantastic thing. We own the tiebreakers over the Rams, so no matter what happens week 16, we will not be resting. So don't think that we're just going to trot out all our backups out there. I want this team fresh, and I know that wrist injury, we're going to trot everybody out, and we're going to play a good final game. Try to beat a division rival. The Raiders, they have a chance to take number one in the AFC, but I think they'll end up being the second seed. We will see. Hope the best for them. Baron Gatchkowski having a phenomenal season. I will catch you in game 16. We have one more thing to look at here. The playoff picture, as you see currently, Cowboys will be last team in. Again, the Giants with a loss next week will give the Cowboys the NFC East lead, and they would be one of the last teams in. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next week. Have a good one. We're almost done with the season.